Office of the Dean of Students, Berkeley College of Music. Official looking stuff. May I take a copy of this? Well, do you need it for something? I'm thinking of having some stationery of my own made. I'd like a sample of something nice to work from. Uh, go right ahead. My secretary can give you the name of our supplier. Thanks. They match. This was written on official Berkeley stationery. It's something, but it's not enough on its own to go making threats. They'll probably continue to say she never worked here. What happened with you and Kelsey, Dean Chapman? Maybe you were having an affair. Should I ask your wife about her? No! God, no, I would never. Look, she was mad when she lost her scholarship. She blamed me for losing it, and I pointed out that her grades, of course, did not support her keeping it. I, I even referred her to a lending institution to apply for a loan. And you never said this because... When she disappeared, I didn't want anyone to think I was involved. I wasn't. I haven't seen Kelsey since she dropped out, and that's the truth. So... Kelsey threatened the Dean with these stolen financial records, and he sent her that letter to get her to back down. The idiot even used his own stationery. I think it's time Dean Chapman and I had a little talk. Yeah, it's time the Dean and I had a talk about this. One more time, Chapman. Is there anything else you want to tell me? N no, I've told you everything. I really hate being lied to. First you lied about knowing Kelsey and that she worked here. Now you're lying about why she stopped working here, when, and why she dropped out altogether. You have no proof of any of that. This letter was sent to Kelsey's personal post office box months ago. Whoever wrote it ripped off the top to conceal the letterhead. What has that got to do with me? They didn't rip quite enough off. The bottom of a few letters are left. Letters that match your office stationery. That's all that proves is someone used a piece of Berkeley stationery to write this. Do you know how many offices carry that? You're right. But that's not all there is. These files prove that you've been taking gifts from the Susie K. Lending Institution for at least four years. Students get referred and ripped a new one on interest rates, and suddenly you're going on really nice family vacations and getting instruments signed by Yo-Yo Ma and the Beatles. That's, uh, there's no, those are falsified reports. I highly doubt it, and a little scrutiny from the experts will prove one way or the other. How are you feeling about your odds in that bet, Daniel? The letterhead, these financial records, plus the fact that Kelsey had access to this office and your reports. And your personnel records over there will no doubt back that up. And the fact that you lied about knowing her. I think I've got a great story for the Boston Globe. How about you? What do you want? The truth, you piece of shit. Did Kelsey Gardner work in your office? Yes, she did. And why was she fired? She threatened me. She said she had proof that I was corrupt, and if I didn't get her scholarship back, she'd turn me in. So you threatened her right back? I thought it'd make her back off. You knew she was never going to get a loan from them, didn't you? Who they give money to is out of my hands. I just refer people, that's all. And collect all the perks paid for in interest by your students. It's a, a consultant's fee. It's a conflict of interest the size of Russia, and it's illegal, jackass. How many students are living off ramen thanks to your referrals while you're taking trips to Dubai? What happened the last time you spoke with Kelsey? 
She came here to tell me she was dropping out, and uh, she said she would go to the police with a file. She was screaming, threatening, out of control, and I was honestly scared. I sent that letter to make her back off. I never heard from her, and then she went missing. How convenient for you. I told you I had nothing to do with her disappearance. Now we're getting somewhere. What else are you hiding? I, I got a package this morning. I, I think it's from Kelsey. It came by messenger, and inside it was this charm. Another silver charm. Consider yourself lucky to be alive, Chapman. The victims all were found with charms like this. I'm a target? Well, you need to help me. You need to protect me. Don't worry. You'll be very safe down at the station. What? I'm FBI, Chapman. Did you really think I wasn't going to tell the police about this? Do yourself a favor and don't leave town. The boys in blue will be in touch soon. Oh, no. I kind of hate it when I need to save assholes like you. I'll give Kelsey this much. She had every reason to hate you. I can't stand it anymore. Everything's just total shit. I can't go to school. My job sucks. Everyone is against me. Kelsey, don't say that. I'm here. I still love you. I'd do anything for you. You know that, right? That doesn't get my scholarship back from Little Miss Perfect. Or fix my grades, Joey. Or get my job back from that piece of shit Dean. Kelsey, please, don't. I've made up my mind, Joey, and he is not getting away with what he's done. There's another memory here. This belonged to Kelsey. There was some trick to open in it. Got it. Sully! Holy shit! This girl is fucked up. I can't do this. I can't. I can't. I need to talk to someone. Erica, how are you, sweetheart? I've been worried about you. I heard about what's happening. Dad, I, I'm, I'm not good. Some psycho is hurting Sully. She took his eye out and I just found it. Slow down, Erica. Breathe. You can do this. You're strong. You're tough as nails, honey. Just breathe. Oh, please, just talk to me, Dad. Of course. Uh, hey, remember your high school soccer team? You were a hell of a goalie. Even took one right to the face and kept going. <laughs> that hurt like hell. I was lucky nothing broke. Like that would have stopped the brick house. <laughs> brick house. I haven't been called that in a while. I'm sorry, Dad. I know Davies was a friend. She was a good woman. But Erica, you can handle this. You're gonna find this piece of crap who's hurting Sully and bring her to justice. I know I can trust Brickhouse to never let anything stop her. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'll feel better once I catch her. Or unload a few rounds in her. Your job is justice, not revenge. Don't forget that. Be careful, Erica. I don't want to lose you two. I love you, sweetheart. I know. I better go now, Dad. 
Thanks. Okay. Okay. Kelsey's demo CD. Pretty good for someone who snapped and started a killing spree. A blank tape. The tape has a recording of Kelsey's demo. That's a lot of blood. What happened? That's the alley where Longmore was killed. This can't just be a coincidence. Arathan Avenue. Same street sign that was in my vision. Same alleyway Longmore died in. This is a little too big to be a coincidence. But what's the connection? That's a lot of blood. What happened? That's the alley where Longmore was killed. This can't just be a coincidence. That won't work there. <laughs> 